When you're answering the questions on this exam, it would be important for you to take both an algorithmic and a heuristic approach. Cultural defenses. In previous exams, in previous exams, meaning not in this exam, one of the questions that was posed was, please relate cultural defenses to two legal theories, one value consensus based and one value antagonist. And invariably what students would choose would be legal positivism and CLS, because those are the ones they were most comfortable with. And what they would do when they answered it was simple. Legal positivism is the following, CLS is the following, this is cultural defenses, and so there you go. They're taking a very algorithmic approach. I'm inputting data, and that is providing me with an outcome. That is providing me with a solution. Students who took that approach usually earned a C. Because as I've said to you, in this course, it's about algorithmic and heuristic. So how would you go about answering this question heuristically? Think of it this way. Think about sitting across a table from your parents or your siblings or your friends and saying to them, hey, I learned something really interesting today. I learned about cultural defenses. And they say, oh, what is that? You say, well, legal positivism first is this theory that says a bit about the sovereign and a bit about pedigree. CLS is a theory that says the following. Well, you have lost the person completely. So you need to think of a way of telling the story in an interesting manner, in a way that is actually going to teach them something. So a more interesting way would be to say, hey, listen, there is this fellow who went out, abducted this woman, raped her, and got off with false imprisonment. How do people react to that? They react in shock, and now they're all ears. Now they're listening. All right? More. Tell me more. Well, you tell them more, you say, well, in fact, this person was engaged in a cultural practice known as marriage by capture. Marriage by capture, that sounds horrible. Well, it's not as bad as it seems. Yes, there are elements that are horrible, but there are other elements that are not. So the families are actually aware of this, and the person captures them, abducts them, and brings them back to the family home. There's a consent there, a tacit consent. Really, why do they do this? Well, the woman is trying to prove the following, and the man is trying to prove the following. And then they negotiate what? So then what, he just walks away? No, they get married. Wow. And so what, the law allows this? Well, it depends on which theory you apply. So if you look at this from a positivist perspective, what we say is, what do we say from a positivist perspective? That that's wrong? Of course not. We don't say that from a positivist perspective because positivism is amoral. And so it's not about right or wrong. It's not about how we feel about marriage by capture. It's what the law says. And what the law says is the person's state of mind is relevant in determining their culpability for the act. And what was this person's state of mind? Well, this person thought there was some form of consent. But she didn't consent. Ah, but that doesn't matter. Because from a criminal law perspective, when we're looking at the issue of rape, what we're most concerned with is not the state of mind of the victim, but rather the state of mind of the perpetrator. Okay? So everyone's happy with this? Well, yes. Yes and no. We can think about taking it a little bit further and say from a critical legal studies perspective, this is actually necessary. Why is this necessary? Well, this is what we refer to as individualized justice, where a person is responsible for their acts. And as was said before, their state of mind is important, and this allows for a certain diversity. We don't create a hegemonic standard. We don't create any kind of a universal standard based on the reasonable person, because the reasonable person standard will vary depending on the society and how diverse that society happens to be. That is an A minus answer to the question. So what did I do there which is different from the original one? The original answer I gave. Relate. That's the key word. Relate. So I know everyone's shuffling away. Relation. It's always about relationships. 
So if you think of it from a heuristic perspective, you'll be concerned with relationships. If you think of it from an algorithmic perspective, you'll be concerned with descriptions. Descriptions earn you a C, relationships earn you a B, possibly an A. Okay? 